Hello there guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince with another Unit Ban Invitational Room 2 Tournament um, Replay cast uh, Well actually this is gonna be the whole match But basically this is a best of three first round, round of eight Match and I'm playing against Armenian King Now I'm gonna put it in slow motion So basically Rules of this tournament are you can only pick barbarian factions and eastern factions. Basically, now uh, you also have some interesting uh, unit picking and banning rules, faction picks as well. So, for instance, the player at the top of the bracket will pick his faction, map, and weather first, then the opponent will pick his faction and ban a unit from uh, the first player's uh, roster and then the first player will be able to ban a unit from his opponent's roster so pretty interesting stuff uh, right there now I'm gonna go over uh, the builds here uh, on Rujion so I've got up front four wolf warriors then followed up by four berserkers four horse runners uh, how many spear levy one two three spear levy and four germanic scout riders my journal is in a is in a noble rider unit and he is Ariavistus. now for my opponent uh, armenian king who's playing as tylus uh, super nice faction pick for him i guess Super, sta super stable. Three raiding horsemen. And up front, four levy freemen. Supporting a main line of, let's see, well, four Thracian warriors. Three Celtic warriors. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Four Oathsworns, interestingly enough. A lot of Oathsworns. And two Galathracian infantry. So, pretty strong and pretty sturdy infantry line from my opponent here. He's definitely got the melee infantry advantage, but if I can get proper charges off, it will it should go alright for me this game. Especially if I can use the horse runners well, because they can do a lot of damage. These horse runner dudes. Anyway, uh, he's actually running away from me with his uh, raiding horsemen and doing a lot of damage to my wolf warriors. This is not something that I quite enjoy. Already down to 109. Because these guys don't have too much ammo, so they will die quickly. And this is why I'm moving up my spear levy because they do have more ammo than uh, not more ammo but more armor than wolf warriors. But already I've lost quite a significant amount of my wolf warriors. I'm not too happy about that. Again, more shots into wolf warriors down to 97 men already. He's already whittled down so many of my men here. But as you can see, I'm walking up and he's just standing over here because. I mean, he doesn't really need to come up with his infantry line. He's just skirmishing with his reigning horseman. My noble rider is all the way in the back over here. But you will see my plan uh, in this game, actually. Very soon. But I'm quite annoyed by... Well, not an he isn't annoying me, but what he's doing in this game is uh, annoying me. Like, I mean, he's not annoying me as a player, but his moves are annoying me in game. If you get what I mean. And he's just forcing me to do all these uh, maneuvers with my spear levy and to take care of his reigning horsemen. Like, I have to put so much thought into this, like, how I'm gonna face them. Because I was hoping to be able to engage my spear levy over here with levy freemen and stop them from stopping my the charge of my wolf warriors. You'll see that I actually decide to go in right now. And this is actually not the best by me. So, basically... Well, you'll see what I end up doing here. Anyway. So I have my Spear Levy up front. The idea was to get my Germanic Scout Riders in very quickly into his Levy Freeman and then stop him from uh, running away with his other swords. And also, by popping fa Fast Charge, I'd allow my men to actually catch up. But here he comes up with Levy Freeman, so I'm like, okay, he he's gonna go in. Now it's time to move up my Germanic Scout Riders. Let's pop Fast Charge as well and let's charge okay germanic scout runner is getting some nice shots on the levy freeman even some uh excellent charges into the levy freeman but now i should be pulling out however javs 
are killing my my Germanic scout riders. So now I'm I'm trying to get rid of his Levy Freeman, but he's gonna continue getting some nice jabs into my Germanic scouts. So this is something that I don't quite like. However, his Levy Freeman do die, but they did get a decent amount of kills, and here they are not actually dying. So yeah, fast charge, uh, kind of wasted for me. Well, not kind of wasted, but actually super super wasted at this point and he's still gonna be able to run away but I'm gonna charge in with noble riders into his Thracian warriors his Thracians should go down fairly quickly here and I've got Germanic scout riders going through they're really fast at this point and these levy freemen should not be able to keep pulling back here I'm actually gonna go for the next unit of levy freemen and this one Thracian warrior will die without getting too many kills but it's killed a lot of my noble riders, that's one thing that annoys the hell out of me, so it's kind of paid for itself. Now I have my horse runners in the back, but the thing is, I've got berserkers here who will get shot to pieces by raiding horsemen, I'm gonna move them up. And I'm gonna try engaging, but I'm not in the best position, and plus my charges will not be so good because I'll be charging into the forest, basically. So this is not something that I like about my engagement at all. I still have pride though, I didn't waste that, but I did waste fast charge, which is really annoying. These guys also fail their jab throws, I don't know why. These guys don't, so that's gonna make a difference here, but these guys will just get mauled by Thracians. Berserker support though should change things around, and I'm gonna pull back over here because I'm definitely not gonna engage my Spear Levy into Thracian Warriors. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my noble riders into the Thracian warriors and then hopefully pull out immediately. I activate pride so this should help my engagement over here, the wolf warriors should do a lot more damage I feel in uh, combat as they are under pride. Actually these guys aren't under pride so I kind of like mistimed my pride I suppose. Only hit a, a few of my units, these guys are just not doing anything for me. But here I make a mistake, I don't really protect my main line properly of like skirmishers, so he does get raiding horsemen into the backs of them. However, this allows me to engage my noble riders in. He's gonna get more of his raiding horsemen in though, so this is really bad for me. But I'm gonna get wolf warriors in with pride, I'm gonna get a charge bonus against the Celtic warriors, so they should be able to destroy the Celtic warriors here. However, uh, the rest of my horses, I've got a few horses and I'm actually able to hopefully chain route his horses because the raiding horsemen aren't looking too great for him. And look here, Germanic scout rider is rear charging his horses and Celtic warriors wavering here. Even this one unit, the Volksworn in red morale, but he popped raise banner and he's gonna pop rally. But the chain route happened slightly and look, this Galatrian infantry is not looking too good. It's in red morale. It's not gonna, it actually does route though, but here's the thing, I still haven't killed, I still haven't routed off the field his Oatsorns, right? And he still has some raiding horsemen. Yeah, my noble rider will die soon, and he, but he still has Galatrician, Skeltics, and Oatsorns over here. So even though I was able to do a lot of damage here, it's still not enough to kill his Oatsorns, basically. But my Berserkers here with Frenzy and Headhunt did a lot of damage to Oldstorms, but now they are exhausted. The Oldstorms are still only active, so they will be able to do a very good job against my infantry unit. So basically, I almost managed to do it, I guess. But his units still aren't going to route at this point. But in fact, mine aren't doing too hot. So here comes a Germanic Scout Rider rear charge, and I'm actually going to go in with my Spear Levy. I can't fight him over here, and I'm actually going to get my Noble Rider General destroyed. This one Celtic warrior is attacked in the rear, but it's not actually routing. Neither is this Galothration, I think. Just barely not routing off the field, I think. And his Osor in general, yeah, look, this guy in red morale, red morale, green morale. This is uh, still green morale, so I guess kind of close somehow. And his, if, his, if I somehow managed to kill his Osor in general, like this would have been game, I think. But unfortunately, like, I, I wasn't able to properly start this engagement because I didn't get my fast charges off. If I did, this game could have been very different. And again, I can't hit, kill his Oatsorns. Gotta stop him with my Spear Levy. Yeah, I get some nice jabs in. Also with the Horse Runners. But look, I don't have enough ammo to kill him with Horse Runners. They have low range. So I'm not sure if I really am going to bring this unit again over something like Simbri Bowwoman. Simply Bowwomen just seem to be far superior to these guys. But I mean, the horse runners can do well in melee, I guess that's the difference, but still not sure if they're actually worth their uh, their price. But yeah, this uh, 
It's going to be the first game. Look at my horse runners engaging here in melee. Might be able to kill a few Celtic warriors or uh, Levy Freeman in the fight, but it won't really be too many, really. Yeah, they're just routed off the field. So there go the horse runners, and that would be the first game that I played against Armenian King. 8 minutes and 40 seconds. Pretty quick. Pretty damn quick. As you can see, I got a lot more kills than he did. And I didn't take as many losses, but here's the difference. He deployed so many more men. Like, look at the Spear Levy, look at the Wolf Warriors, the Berserkers. They did quite well. But my Horse Runners kind of didn't do what they needed. Germ Germanic Scout Riders, yeah, they killed Levy Freeman, but again, wasteful. Very, very wasteful. I neutralized his Thracians quite well, but I couldn't I couldn't do the same with his old Thorns. Like, the, I pretty much, I was able to handle everything that he had. Except for his Oathsorns. His Oathsorns are what cost me the game here, I guess. Because he had so much morale in his line, and I think this was a good choice that he picked those four Oathsorn. That it was very difficult for me to actually push into his forces. But yeah, that is uh, game one, and I shall see you in game two. So this is game two of my match against Armenian King, and I'm playing as, as Armenia, contrary to what you would think, considering my opponent's Armenian king, but oh well, and he's playing as Parthia. I guess he would have played as Armenia if he could have, but I stole it from him. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, it is Nemetosena, but I'm gonna go over my build. So I have a front line of four, five hillmen protected by five eastern slingers. Then I have two armored horse archers on my left flank. I have a Royal Cataphract Strategist General, and oh by the way, uh, in the first game I believe he banned Swordmasters from me, and I banned his uh, Tribals, yeah, I forgot to mention. Now in this game though, we both banned Eastern Cataphracts of course, like what else would you ban in Armenia versus Parthia, Eastern Cataphracts, very strong. Then I have four Persian Cavalry, uh, and two royal cataphracts in here so in total three royal cataphracts so quite a strong cap component that's what I have at the moment now for his forces he does have four mercenary Sarmatian horse archers which are gonna be annoying and sure I've got two armored horse archers but he can go around whereas I can't really do the same thing so that's kind of annoying for me now for the rest of his uh, build he has let's see has a bigger infantry and strong core and stronger as well. So he has one Eastern Spearman on each flank, then a main line of one Persian Hoplite again on each flank, and his he does have one, two, three, four Pardian swords. As for his cav, this is what I find quite interesting. He has six noble blood cav, the royal cataphract commander general. So that is what I really find very, very, very interesting in this. Uh, case. Now we'll see how the battle goes. Uh, I'm gonna put it on play. You'll see us trying to skirmish with armored horse archers against mercenary Sarmatian horse archers, but I do waste some volleys. I think he does too, but I think I waste a few more than him. So I'm like, oh, he's not gonna get the shots off. I'm Surely I can uh, micro my way to victory here and make sure that I waste his ammo, but we did the same thing, so yeah. We both wasted a bit of ammo, but at the end of the day we did turn off fire at will, so we didn't really do it too much, I guess. Just a few volleys, but here we're just trying to trick, trick each other into actually firing with our horse archers, but we're not actually doing it. Anyway, I did move my armored horse archer over here, and as you can see, I'm actually moving my armored horse archers more than... Uh, uh, I'm, I think I'm doing a better job with the micro, the horse archers, because what I'm doing a lot of times is I'm making my horse archers move because they are they won't really get as tired as his, whereas his horse archers continue to run and run and run, becoming more and more exhausted. So I think I was doing a good job in this uh, in this case, since I was just mainly walking my units instead of running them, as you can see here. So you can see I'm fresh, he is he's active over here, as for the other flank, he's active, and I'm active too, I guess. So maybe I'm not doing as good of a job here. 
But again, I'm gonna start walking them. But basically, the idea for me is to start faking cavalry charges, which isn't work gonna work too well, I guess. And then get a charge off on his infantry with the Eastern Cataphracts. Well, not Eastern Cataphracts, because I don't have them. But Royal Cataphracts and Persian Cavalry. Then hold his, hold his line with my melee cavalry, well, rather shock cavalry, and pour in the hillmen, and then keep charging the hillmen out, uh, keep pulling them out and charging them back in, basically, because the hillmen can't really hold on their own, but if I charge them in and pull them out and then charge them in over and over, they will actually be able to do quite a decent uh, job, I feel. But anyway, here, more micro going on with the horse archers, so... We're both really annoying to each other at that point, so here comes uh, my first fake charge, I think. I'm like, okay, look at me, I'm gonna move up my cavalry in the center, so be careful. Now he's gonna pull back his cavalry and his whole infantry line, so I'm like, hello. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. And here I'm getting some nice shots off onto his Sarmatian horse archers, actually, so I did kill like two of them. As for this flank, I didn't kill any, but I think I will at some point. He still thinks that I'm not gonna shoot, but I actually am. So here I'm gonna send up my hillmen, and here comes the charge. I'm actually gonna go in right now, but I pulled back these guys too much, so that's a mistake by me. I should have pulled back the hillmen here and then got the, the charges off with the Royal Cataphracts. And here, I'm pulling out, I don't know why, I should have just continued with the cavalry. I, I was faking too much, faked too much to the point that I actually got charged by his cavalry instead of me getting the charges off on his uh, infantry. So at this point, I would say that it's actually looking really bad for me because I wasn't supposed to get my hillman charged. Basically, I think what would happen in this case is if I get the charges off on his infantry, I win by default. But if he gets the charges on my infantry, he wins again by default, which basically happened because, yeah, sure, I charged an Eastern Spearman here with my Royal Cataphracts, that's good, but. It's not really as impactful as him charging all his cavalry into like all my uh, all my hillmen and routing them off the field quickly because hillmen are good but not in the way I use them. Here I'm gonna get some uh, charges off with armored horse archers. I'm actually focusing his general and his general might actually die here, but I'm pulling back royal cataphracts too much instead of keeping them engaged with the noble blood cap. And here he's just pushing through my lines and he's got so much cavalry left. But the problem is for him is if I manage to kill his cavalry, this would be really good for me. But the problem is, again for me, I've got royal cataphracts here. I'm targeting his noble blood cap, I think. I'm trying to get rid of his noble blood cap, but he has too much cavalry left. Still has more cavalry left than I do. I'm trying to hold off his this noble blood cap with another unit. Here I'm not sure what I'm doing, I'm mismicroing an Eastern Slinger. Quite uh, quite a big mismicro actually. Here I'm gonna get a Royal Cataphract charge off. But my general is in huge trouble. I still haven't popped. I haven't popped Trample or his strategist abilities at all this game. So that was a problem for me. Here I might get some. I'm getting a nice charge off into his Persian hoplites, and I do route that one unit. So the Persian hoplites did get a lot of kills though. But here's the problem. I don't have enough units at this point. Like it's pretty much over. I'm trying to stop his cavalry and his, his swords, but it's it's not really gonna work. And sure, I'm killing this noble blood calf, and I'm gonna get more cavalry in, but look at everything here. My royal cataphract journal is gone. I'm trying to hold off his cavalry with my royal cataphracts, and here he does actually get... I do actually get my royal cataphracts in with a charge into his noble blood calf, but I don't have enough by this point. It's far too late. I'm gonna get another rear charge into his Persian hoplites here with armored horse archers, but... And I get a hillman unit back, so that's good for me, but... I don't have enough. I mean, if he had no cavalry on the field right now, this would have been possible. Because I had Persian Cav, I had Royal ca Cataphracts, I had another unit of Royal Cataphracts and a Hillman. He would have had something like heavily depleted infantry units, well, besides these two. And I think I could have done it at that point, but look, he still has three Noble Blood Cap that are, no are in okayish shape, and he has three Sarmatian Horse Archers that are just firing away and doing so much uh, damage. At this point, it's just super, super, super uh, annoying as hell <laughs> for me to deal with the cavalry. 
And it seems like this match, annoying, was the word for me to use. But yeah, I just couldn't, I just couldn't charge his infantry properly, and I, I was, I guess, I faked too much, faked him too much that I ended up faking myself out of the game, basically, by what I was doing. Like I just, yeah, I, I didn't get the charges off on his infantry, and he did, and that's basically the number one thing in this game. Otherwise, I think my build could have worked because if I charged into his infantry and then uh, pulled up with Hillman and then kept pulling the Hillman out and back in, would have done so much damage. And then I would have focused my Eastern Slingers on his general. His general would have died really quickly, as it happened here. Like his general died with only 23 men killed. That was very good by me, but I just didn't do well with the cavalry at all this game. Sure, some of them got a lot of kills. Like this one or this one, but overall I just failed with the cavalry. And uh, his horse archers actually did quite fantastically for him. Whereas mine just kind of failed. Again, his noble blood cavalry pretty much made the game for him the way he used them. And Parthian swords and Persian hoplites, of course, they would do well considering the situation they were in. They didn't get charged for the most part. This one Eastern Spearman did, so I... I Got that unit out of the field pretty quickly, but still not cost effective for me. But yeah, that's basically the way it went. So I hope you guys guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Share the video, and I'll see you next time.